Hello again, Eric here uh, with another Super Mega Baseball custom logo for you. This is an actual team. This is the Connecticut Defenders. Um, I made a logo very similar to this for Super Mega Baseball 2. It's actually probably one of the first ones I ever posted. And then when we got the extra layers, I, um, I, I know that somebody was talking about this. And they, they liked this and wanted to know if anyone could do it. And I, I reposted it. And then I said, you know, I'll take another whack at it at uh, 32 layers to see if I can sharpen it up a little bit, get a little bit closer to the real logo. So here we go. Again, this will be the rapid fire version. What I'd recommend when I'm doing these, and actually any of mine, if you just don't want to have to do it with me, is you just make a spreadsheet and um, let me show you what I use. Okay, very simple spreadsheet. I just do the layers, the name, if I have to flip it or not, font, effect, color, position, the first position, second position, rotation, scale. Just stuff like that, just so that if you want to be able to quickly write these down so that you can go off and do it on your own, so you're not trying to do the, the, the one of the reasons why I don't like doing the rapid fire videos is because you have to write it down because you cannot physically do this in the time I'm, I'm taking you through this. That's why I like doing the the full take you through every bit of it just because I think it's more personal. I, I take pride in this. I, you don't understand how much this pisses me off to do them this way. It's just I can't physically keep up with doing videos because I do for every video I make, I probably make seven, eight logos. So this is the only way for me to keep up. And I got to clear out space. All right. So this is a real baseball team. Uh, was a real baseball team. I don't believe they're in effect anymore. So all I just... And so this is this is actually really, really simple, guys. Honestly, anybody can do this. Super simple. You need a nice medium, medium dark royal blue, um, gray, and white, and black. You really don't need much more than that. Um, oh, and you need a red. You need red for laces. Okay. Okay. The, the slight blue you don't need. This was just because I was. This is from a color palette of just playing around with a lot of logos. Okay. All right. Square two. I don't know why this is at the position it is, but it should be zero zero zero. Scale it up like one on nine ish. All right, then you're doing a circle, circle one, negative 17, 15, rotation zero, scale 78. Another circle, and I'm sorry, that one's in the silver, this one's in black. Negative 17, 13, zero, 75 scale. Another circle, this one in gray. Negative 16, 10, zero, 61 scale. So you're just copying and changing the scale on these. Then we're gonna do one in red. The, Seems, might seem odd, but we're doing this for the laces that we're going to use later on, on the next one. All right, negative 16, 10, zero rotation, 53 scale. Then baseball two. Um, baseball two looks more like what the actual logo for this team is. Okay. Oops. All right, so that one's at 16, um, 12, sorry, negative 16, 12. 122 rotation, 58 scale. Okay, then we're gonna use square and black, negative 59, 35, rotation 39, scale 15. Triangle two, that's the leftover upper part of that top of the sub. Uh, negative 92, 19, 346 rotation, scale 20. Uh, part of the reason I like this one was, it's actually kind of creative that they made a sub out of a bat, because if you think about it, bat's kind of almost a little bit sub shape. Then the baseball bat, you do it in black so you don't have to see anything else on it. Um, negative six, negative eight, 30 rotation, 77 on the scale. Then we're doing an ellipse. This is what I added on to with the extra layers. Ellipse four to do those like little wings. I'm not a sub guy, so I don't know what those are called, but whatever, they're wings. Uh, gray, silver, whatever, negative 91, 24, 343 rotation, 16 scale. Do another one in black. This one's going to be 
Same position, negative 84, 24, rotation 343, scale 11. And then we're going to do one here for the back of the bat in silver or gray. Negative 221, 66, rotation 258, scale 10. And we're going to go to swish one for some of the waves. So, um, so you're going to do that in the blue. 67, negative 15, rotation 179, scale 41. Okay. And then rectangle two, I'm doing this to cover up some, some things, so there's a reason for it. See that? Okay. All right, so that's in white, 20, negative 149, 345 rotation, 97. The reason I'm covering up because that the actual logo, you don't see that stuff. So that's why I did that. Okay. Swish one, blue, one, negative 29, 180 rotation, 43 scale. Another swish one. Negative 75, negative 50, 175 rotation, 43 scale. And then now we're going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight underscores. Okay? That's going to be for this wonderful line all the way across. And just so you know, when you're using the underscore, if you the, the thinner you're trying to make the line, the more underscores you want. That might seem opposite of what you want to do. I've just found that if I need to make a thin line, when I, you scale down a regular underscore, it can only get so thin when you make more of them. For some reason, it goes even thinner. So file that nugget away. Um, you know, learn something new every day. All right. Um, font one, of course, um, gray, negative 25, eight, 341, rotation, scale three. Then rectangle two, it's for the backing of the word defenders. In black, zero, negative 73, 345 rotation, 95 scale. And then a swish. Okay. One in blue, 144.6, 227 rotation, 32 scale. And of course, Swish 10, have to have a Swish 10. It would not be a logo of mine if it didn't have a Swish 10. Okay. And Swish 10 is going to be in, in gray, 80, 183, 48, 226 rotation, 16 scale. Triangle 4 in blue, 111, 22, 252 rotation, 18 scale. Swish just for a little style, 31, negative 23, 322, rotation, 16 scale. And then Connecticut, font 8, spacing 53, bend on the font style, and then on the bend, 42. And that's how you'll get that nice little styling. All right. And then the location is negative 82, 164, 335 rotation, 6 scale. Again, I'll go over the text, font 8, Space, 53, bend on the style, bend is 42, positive 42. Okay, then we'll do arc three, white, negative 86, negative 40, rotation 104, scale eight. Another arc, three, 73, rotation 72, scale eight. 73, 72, scale eight. Okay, triangle three. Silver, gray, negative 12, 55, rotation 70, scale 9. Do another triangle, copy it. In black, negative 20, 54, rotation 70, scale 5. Then we do one underscore in that grayish silver. Okay, negative 36, 49, rotation 255, scale 3. And then triangle 4. Negative 66, 62, 249 rotation, 15 on the scale. Then do an outline in black. And I think I upped it to two, two outlines, so double it. Whatever makes it look nice the way, the way you want it. Capital D in font eight. And that goes at negative 97, negative 137, 345 rotation, 22 scale, and then the rest of the word defenders, so E-fenders. I capitalized it all in white, 
font eight, space 10 to give it a little bit of gap and kind of try to make it fit all the way across um, the bat sub. That's at 42, negative 74, 344 rotation, 12 scale. So there you go. The Connecticut Defenders, this is an actual minor league team. Um, if you didn't want the wording on there for a patch, um, get rid of the defenders part. Um, you could just do the bat itself. You know, if you want to do that, that would look cool too. And then for like the wording, I would just do the, the word defenders across the chest. I don't remember what exactly what the jersey looked like because I didn't do the rest. But there you go. This is an actual real minor league team and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.